Oh hey there, just cutting off the bullshit of this episode because last episode of Kiss the Chef was way too long. Like my d Bruh, I kid you not, I was editing like... Are we there yet? So, I came up with an idea, which is to take out the ingredients part out and add a new component, which is asking questions and me answering them while I cook. This will no longer be called Kiss the Chef, it will be called Ask the Chef. Enough with the briefing, let's get straight into it! <laughs> Never been a hater. I just stick to my paper like a stapler. Yellow bone, smoking purple LA Lakers. So I'm assuming you guys are all doing well, unless you guys are in Melbourne. Because they got the fucking coronavirus, y'all. But you're in Melbourne, dumbass. But! Well, yeah, guys, like James said, we are in Melbourne and we're in lockdown, sadly, because some security guard was too horny and decided to fuck an infected lady who was quarantining. Come here, baby. Yo, come here. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going through your mind, bro? So today I will be cooking Thai chili and holy basil stir fry. And let me just quickly explain what the dish is because last episode we had someone come to me and ask, What is green curry? What's so special about it? Why is it green? And you know who you are. So to prevent that from happening again, I'm just gonna quickly explain what the dish is. So the dish is called Thai chili and holy basil stir fry. The holy basil is holy because it's been blessed from the gods. It has been sacredly handed down to us to use it specifically for this dish. <laughs> and I'm just talking shit because ain't no herb holier than the... You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> No, but seriously, I don't know why the fuck it's called holy basil. I guess the Caucasians weren't happy with just basil. So they just had to pull something out their ass. I don't know, but anyways, it's Thai chilies with basil, stir fried with some soy sauce, dark soy sauce, oyster sauce, and a bit of sugar. That's it. It's legit the easiest dish you can cook. It's that easy, I reckon Beetlejuice over here can cook it. Spell red. Red. L-S-T-E-R So like I said, we got basil, capsicum for colour, beef mints, dark soy sauce, soy sauce, oyster sauce, eggs, garlic, chilli and sugar. So before we're going to start preparing, we're just going to get straight into the first question. What motivates you? Kevin Hart man, like shout out to Kevin Hart, I oh, fucking love that guy. Like he's funny as fuck. His work ethics are crazy and he has a friend group called like the Paper Cup Boys and they're all making M's. Like if one person eats, they all eat. I mean right now I've got a pretty similar group to that. Like I know they got my back for show. Shout out to you Chola Gang. Jordan the newest member. Second of all, Gary Vaynerchuk. That guy is like my dad man. Like literally fucking motivates the shit out of me. Like I wouldn't be standing right here in front of this camera. So after we've prepared everything here, chopped up nicely, we're gonna get a pan and we're just gonna turn up the heat to high heat. And we're gonna start doing our basil leaves, plucking the basils off the stem and just get straight into the next question. What inspired you to do YouTube? So Logan Paul, PewDiePie, KSI, they're all my heroes, I love them. Just joking guys, if I ever get up to that point, shoot me in the head, end my life. Okay, but really what inspired me to do YouTube was basically my business. Like, I just thought to myself, if Mark Zuckerberg documented everything he did for Facebook, it would be really, really interesting to watch. So after we've plucked all the basil like this, we're just going to quickly wash it. So after you've washed your basil, you're just going to set them aside and your pan should be hot right now so we're just going to go ahead and start cooking the eggs. First things first, put the oil.
So just cook your eggs medium rare, whatever the fuck, I don't give a shit. So after you finish your eggs like this, you're just gonna wanna set them aside and just let them cool down. And then after that, you're just gonna wanna pour some more oil. <laughs> While we wait for the oil to heat up, we're just gonna go with another question. Where are you from? Ooh, it's a hard question. Since um, I'm cooking Thai food, and I want to open a Thai restaurant, and both my parents are Thai. I think I'm from Vietnam. Don't make come day that all Tony. I'm joking. I'm from Thailand. Next question. Do yeah, you I listen to hard style and go events? No. I'm wholesome. What are you talking about? What's happening? Yes, guys, I do listen to to hard style and I do go to events. So after the pan has heated up with the oil, you're just gonna put your garlic and chili in. So you don't wanna bother turning on the fan, <coughs> turning on the fan because you wanna choke on the chili, because that's how you know it's gonna be good. So after the garlic and chili has ground up a bit, we're just going to add our beef and our capsicum. And just give it a little stir like this. Give it a little wok you know what I mean? <coughs> Point of virus. So we're just gonna wait for that to cook up and just move on to the next question. What is your love life like? Ooh. Can I say no comment? No! Alright. So I just came out with of a I just came out of a two-year relationship. Um learnt a lot of things, had a good run. But right now I'm single and ready to mingle. So now that our beef is kind of cooked up a bit, we're just gonna get rid of all the water, the excess water. So. And then add our sauces. So we've got oyster sauce, two tablespoons, and then soy sauce, about the same, dark soy sauce, and also a tablespoon of sugar. Just any sugar you like. And we're just gonna let that simmer for five minutes. Oh look guys, we're waiting again. So let's do a quick two questions in one. How tall are you and what's your three favorite food? I am 183 centimeters. Yes, six feet Asian. Some people might not believe that. And my three favorite food would have to be Hainanese chicken, grilled lamb cutlets, and roast duck and egg noodles. Buy me those three things and I'll legit marry you. After it's simmered a bit, you're just gonna add all of your basil and just give that a nice stir for about two minutes. Just stir that through, making sure that it really gives off that aroma. So after your basil has shrunken up like this, just gonna wanna turn up the heat. And that's it guys, you're done. So James, what do you think of today's dish? Mmm. The fry egg perfectly cooked. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll give it 11 out of 10. I'll say, like, my opinion. Five and five. the way you dress, like, dress the dish is pretty good. Mmm. But let me try the taste. It's really nice. It's, it's sweet. Because bro. you cook it, that's why you say it's nice. We'll see, we'll see, go. Mm. 
That's fat. Mm. That's fat. There, guys. Me and James hope so that good. Me and James hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and yeah, till next time. Peace. Peace.